Welcome back to the Patriot Arms channel. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, age-old debate of 1911s. What's the better 1911? Do you need a uh, $1,500 or $2,000 1911 in order to have a good 1911? Well, I would say that is a bunch of baloney. You do not need to spend two thousand dollars or fifteen hundred to have a very good reliable uh, 1911 this is a rock island 1911 this one's been used as a truck gun for a, a while so the grip's a little bit scuffed up and the coating is a little bit uh, wore off there from it riding in the truck but uh, yeah it's been reliable for me and uh, it has been and it's very smooth actually I think it's a pretty smooth riding pistol as far as the slide and then here we have the Tithosh uh, 1911 which is a this one is approximately 450 to 500 bucks and this one is under 400 it's uh, this particular one is the Tithosh uh, 1911A1 US Army replica uh, Tithosh uh, Knoxville Tennessee this one's actually even smoother than the than the Rock Island is, but it doesn't have to, it has the plastic grips, it doesn't have the, the wood grips like that one does, so that, I mean, other than that, they're pretty much identical, the triggers, let's show the trigger on this one, a little bit of play there, yeah, Anyway, um, yeah, it's just a very, I, I've shot both, this one I've only put not even 50 rounds through it, I don't think, but this one I've put a couple hundred rounds through it by now, and I haven't really had any problems with it, I actually just had it out to clean it, and uh, it was pretty dirty and dry, I'm gonna show you guys how to field strip it, well, actually, with the T-Sash, you get the cleaning rods and the takedown tool but you don't really need it but you know it makes it easier just put that on top ah. ah, turn it yikes forgot to grab that <laughs> luckily it didn't make a hole in the ceiling <laughs> so you want to turn it uh, clockwise and get your spring out and then you want to turn it the other way and uh, that'll then you can remove this and just uh, slide this back There we go. Sometimes that link catches a little bit. And then you want to push this out, which this actually has the, the end on it to push that out. That re releases your link. You take your barrel off. Push the link forward. Pick the barrel up a little bit and walk it up. And the Rock Island is the same way. Nothing uh, different from that. You just put this back in, flip the link back, put this back on here, and uh, put the slide back on. Put it back together. I usually put the spring in just to kind of keep pressure on it a little bit. But 
There we go. Got it lined up now. Put this in. And then slide it back. There. Just like that. Put this back on here. On the spring. Actually, let's do this the easy way. Let's put this on. Slide it over to the other side. Push your spring down. Rotate this back and it'll click in. And there you go, got it locked. Function check it, it is clear. And that is how you one-handed 1911 hack, you go like this. So yeah, that's how you uh, take apart the 1911. And uh, again, you don't don't let people tell you that you have to spend fifteen hundred dollars or two thousand dollars in order to have a good reliable 1911 because i've had absolutely no issues with either one of them i mean i haven't put very many rounds through the tsosh but that thing is actually the slide moves smoother than the 19 other uh, than the rock island does and I haven't had any problems with the Rock Island. The only only thing that I uh, don't really like is the sights. I mean, they're your typical sights for budget uh, 1911s. But, I mean, that's the one thing you get. You can get the Tithosh ones. They have them for like 450 or 500 bucks, I think, with the... Uh, upgraded sights and, and i think they have the picatinny rail on the bottom but um uh, yeah it's i mean don't let anybody shame you into uh, thinking that uh 400 1911 is not going to be reliable or uh, basically an abomination because it's not like i said i haven't had any issues with it the trigger's great the only difference between a four or five hundred dollar one and a uh, two thousand dollar one is the human hours that they put into polishing uh, all the typically the stainless steel stuff like the trigger the like making sure everything is really smooth and operates nicely <clears throat> because other than that there's not um uh, well, some of these parts might be uh, mold ejected parts. The more expensive ones typically have all machine parts or mill parts. But I don't see that as a, a real issue. I mean, for three, four hundred dollars, you can buy two of these and you'll still be better off than you would be if you spent two thousand dollars for a cold or whatever so that's my little rant and spiel on the 1911 i mean yes i'm not saying that i would never own never spent fifteen hundred dollars on a 1911 <clears throat> that's not at all what i'm saying i'm just saying that some people think that oh you spent $400 for a 1911 that thing must be a piece of shit and that's not the case like I said they're uh, reliable very smooth operating so anyway I think that uh, covers pretty much everything um, try to keep this a little bit more shorter but uh, you know kind of get on a rant um, thank you for thank you guys for watching God bless, and I'll see you on the next one.